Bas Masura was a very powerful asura. He was very big and strong, but at the same time, he was also very foolish. Once, Bas Masura wandered through a forest. How can I become the most powerful king? Is there any shortcut to become one? Whom could I ask for a help? When Basmasura thought this to himself, there came the great sage Narada. Narayana, Narayana. Narayana, Narayana. Oh, here comes Narada. He knows the answers for all the questions. Oh, great sage, tell me how I can become great and strong. Uh, no, no, so strong that I may be able to defeat even the greatest kings. Basmasura, do penance on Lord Shiva. He will grant you any boon. So, Basmasura prostrated to Narada and started his journey towards the dense forest. He found a quiet place under a pepper tree and began to worship Lord Shiva. Om Namah Shivai 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 Many years passed, Lord Shiva appeared before him. Om Namah Shivaya Basmasura Open your eyes my child Your prayers have reached me What do you wish for Basmasura? My lord I wish to be immortal No Basmasura That is against the laws of nature All of whom Who are born have to die Hmm if that's the case, my lord, if I touch anybody's head, they should be reduced to ashes. As you wish, Basmasura, anybody that you touch with your right hand will die and be reduced to ashes. Hope you are happy with it. Basmasura let out a maniacal laugh. He studied his hands and wanted to test it right away. <laughs> now, I am more powerful than anybody. I am more powerful than you, Lord. I can even burn down Lord Shiva and become the king of Kailash. Lord Shiva looked startled at the current situation. But Basmasura continued. Now, my Lord, I wish to test my power. I will place my hand on your head. Lord Shiva backed away and started to run for his life. <laughs> my Lord, why do you run? Wait! <laughs> Basmasura followed him with his hands outstretched. My Lord, please wait. Let me test my power, my lord! Suddenly, Lord Shiva prayed to Lord Vishnu. <sighs> Narayana, Narayana, please help me now. Basmasura was about to follow Lord Shiva inside the clump of trees. Suddenly, he stopped. There, he saw the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. She was so beautiful and so graceful that for a minute Basmasura even forgot about Lord Shiva. Am I dreaming? Is this Indraloka? Who is this damsel? Basmasura approached her. My lady, may I know who you are? You have to tell me who you are first. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, I am Basmasura. Who are you, my beautiful lady? I am Mohini. <laughs> the 
will you marry me? <laughs> Mohini gave a tingling laugh and turned and walked away. Feeling like an utter fool, Basmasara also followed her. Ah, what are you doing in this forest, my love? Where are you staying? I am living with my parents in the forest and I came here to collect flowers for the daily puja. Mohini. Ah, what a wonderful name. Mohini. Mohini, will you marry me? I will take good care of you and keep you happy always. You with your good looks? <laughs> I would love to marry you, dear. But you see, I'm a dancer, Basmasura. When I was younger, I made a promise that I would only marry a man who can dance as well as me. There goes my chance. Don't worry. I will teach you. If you follow my steps exactly the way I do it, I am yours. <laughs> And I will marry you. I will do anything and everything you say. So, the two of them danced. Basmasura tried his best to copy Mohini's move as she smiled encouragingly at him. They went on dancing, where Basmasura got better and concentrated on dancing and nothing else. Mohini soon had a move where she kept her hand on her head. Without thinking, Basmasura did the same. The boom worked and Basmasura reduced into ashes. Lord Shiva appeared before Mohini. <sighs> Thank you, Narayana. You saved my life. Anytime. Just think carefully next time before you grant anybody any boons. 